doily. She is going to steal your TARDIS. That was Doily. That's right. She doesn't like you and you know it. She is following your orders out of pure fear. You've done the same thing to Versity. Versity has been on my side since day one. He wouldn't dare say he didn't like me. You should have seen what he was saying when you were dead. Yeesh. <laughs> Enough! I'm very impressed with Doily as she has already stolen your TARDIS. Wonderful. Does she even know what she is doing? Well, thankfully the button did something. I feel extremely bad doing something th like this. The doctor is a great person. He doesn't deserve this. Now, where am I going to go? I don't even know how to control this thing. Well, uh, honestly, I didn't think we'd get this far. Are you kidding me? What is this, a Saturday sitcom? You think someone of your intelligence would plan things beforehand? Forget it. I have no idea how to control this darn thing. I have to find a way to land it back. Ugh. I guess I just pushed the button again? Great job. I'm pretty sure you just lost one of your helpers, genius. Now what are you gonna do? You threw an old plans of retrieving my TARDIS out the door. Dooley has gone God knows where with it. We will kill you. Haven't heard that one before. What is the point of killing us? Don't you just want our TARDIS of world domination or something? We're your best bet to even get the TARDIS back. The turtles return just to pull the same predictable stupid bullcrap once again. He's got a point. I don't want to hear another word from you, Versity. But I guess the doctor does have a point for once. You finally admit it. So what are you going to do? You've thrown all your plans into the garbage. Well, look who's back from that fairly of a plan. Uh, Croy? I can explain. No need to explain. I should have given you further orders. I left you with a lost sense of direction. And I apologize. Like you always do. You are terrible at thinking things through. I really do not want to hear it from you. If you keep it up, I will kill you. That is exactly why she even listens to your bullcrap. Fear. That is all. Just fear. Shh, you know what? Shut up, Doctor. Totally. You can come with us. We can get you out of here unharmed. I can't. If we ever return, he will kill me on sight. No, he won't. He's a procrastinator. He drags on conversation and never comes to a definitive. He'll end up not killing you. Trust me. I've known him his entire life. He won't do it. Besides, if he does, I will protect you. I know how much you hate him. I don't know what you two are talking about, but I'm not a fan of the whispering. I know you have something up your sleeve, Doily. Don't you dare consider anything stupid. I'm not, Master. Master? Really? Master? Shut up. Well, what an underwhelming set of unorganized threats. A very anticlimactic way to start adventures in my new body. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Enough already. Come on, guys. Let's go.